Good morning. Uh, this is Leo. This is another uh, training video. Let me just make sure. Okay, I believe we are recording. Okay, this is another training video and today I want to go more in depth as to what we do. I was asked a very good question yesterday um, about what is our goal. Um, that's a great question. Um, our goal is to help our clients to be more successful, to get new business, to improve their quality of life, uh, to make sure they don't work 80 hours a week, uh, to make sure they have the right employees, to make sure they have the right profitable clients, um, to make sure they get their businesses to the next level. I mean, our goal is not one thing. Our, our goal is to make lives better. Um, if you enjoy helping people, I mean truly, truly helping people, this is probably one of the best jobs you could possibly ever have because you're going to be interacting with a lot of business owners, with a lot of people looking for jobs, with a lot of people who want to start a company, with a lot of people that, you know, that really want to help other people as well. Because helping people becomes contagious. And when you help someone, they're more likely to help someone else. Okay, so how does that fit uh, into our company? I started... I'm sure you've seen some of the other videos that I've posted, but I've started a company when I'm 17 years old. It was a construction company, uh, sold that company, and quickly went into the consulting industry. Um, and we started seven different franchise concepts, and franchising is basically another word for consulting, uh, creating systems that help people become successful. And what is a company? A company is not a building. A company is a bunch of people, right? It's people inside companies that make the company successful. Uh, yeah, sure, systems help, but again, it's people, personalities, it's, it's uh, f uh, family dynamics, it's a lot of things that make people successful. So this job was really created um, with me in mind, because I love talking to people, uh, either voice um, on the phone call, face to face, or even over text. If you do your job successfully, you should be able to write um, around 60 emails per hour. So I'm going to talk about some of the tools that would make you successful. If you're comfortable talking, you can dictate. If you're not com comfortable talking, then of course you can use your keypad and, uh, and type. But while we're on the screen, I, I want to quickly go over some of the things we, <clears throat> we do. This is uh, Jaden, and I hope you can see my, my screen. Uh, this is Jaden, one of our clients. He shared a video, um, or he commented on the video that one of you posted and it's about um, it's about bringing your dog to uh, to work. Um, so part of the job you do is not just answering emails. Um, it's about sharing content like this. And you can see the dog going around from office to office and greeting everybody each morning. And um, and really, this is what work should be like. It should be fun. You should be able to interact with other people. Um, and part of your job is to find videos like this, post them, um, then uh, keep up with comments. Um, obviously, that's me there. Um, and you share comments, or you re react to comments, or you comment on the comments, or whatever that is. Um, and you can also use this as a link form. A link form is basically when you add connections. So when you see business owners, so this one's already connected with us. When you see a first, it means they're already connected with me. Um, but we use 
we use posts like this to connect people to our newest clients. Our newest clients are not going to have a lot of connections. So when you scroll through these through a profile, then you can connect. This one's already a, a connection. But instead of message, it would be connect. And you click on that. Then you would add them as a connection. Um, so again, part of your job is searching YouTube, finding funny business videos. Um, uh, we have clients that uh, one of the clients is in the uh, permanent makeup, so uh, extension eyelashes and and wigs and and permanent makeup like eyeshadow and stuff like that. So you'd be ser searching uh, YouTube for makeup tips, or or another client is in the um, uh, online business. They sell dresses and made-to-measure suits and, and stuff like that. So part of your job, again, for that client would be to search um, new stylish trends or new shirts for men or fabrics or whatever it is. Um, I believe that when you dress well, you feel good and you're going to do a better job. So a, a lot of the work that we do relates to feeling good uh, and getting the most out of life and um, uh, and really making sure that you have quality of life. I keep saying that, but it, re it really means something, quality of life. I have, uh, we have a, a client in the painting industry and he's one of the examples that I like to share is that he spends seven months of the year out of the country. He likes to surf, play beach volleyball, and, um, and he likes to travel, obviously. But we've designed his company where he can do that. We put the systems in place, whether he's in the Philippines, um, Spain, Portugal, wherever he is, uh, he can keep track of his business with his uh, phone. He gets uh, reports twice a day and he can, he can have more control over his company in a different part of the world than most business owners just can while they're on the job site. Because when they're on the job site, they're not looking at financials. They're not looking at reporting. They're not looking at cost control. They're not looking at productivity reports. They're not looking at a lot of things they should be looking at. And those things are easily looked at offline or off the job site okay um, so really your job has to be fun people have to see you having uh, an enormous amount of fun in order for them to react so your job is to have fun and show them how they can have fun you talk about, you know, you went to play beach volleyball. A lot of our clients play beach volleyball because I get them into it. Uh, we took a lot of clients to Whistler in British Columbia, Canada to go downhill mountain biking. Um, uh, whitewater rafting, you know, all, all different things. Uh, biking trips and so on. So you want to create an idea of what a contractor's perfect lifestyle is so they start thinking about hey maybe i should be doing that maybe i'm spending eight hours a week and i shouldn't be doing that because i'm not that creative when i keep seeing the same thing over and over again maybe i should be talking to 20 other contractors to see what they're doing that i'm not doing Maybe I should be doing more networking, maybe whatever it is. So we have to give them the comparables. We have to show them the lifestyle they should have so that they have the desire to change. If people tell themselves, I love my job, I love my job, even though they hate their job, they're not going to have the need to change. So when we give them that need, when we give them that desire that they really want to change, that they should be spending more time with their families, that you know they should be traveling more, they should be socializing more, and, and so on. And by doing all those things, it's actually making their companies better because they're com they come back to their business with an infusion of fresh ideas. Networking is extremely important, so we encourage people to do that. 
Okay. How do we do that? Well, we share videos. We, we share um, articles that other clients post. Um, one of my favorite um, people that I like to listen to and read is Anthony Robbins, Gary Vanderchuk, Brian, I forget his last name. But there's a lot of motivational type speakers or, or people that help businesses. And those are, those are the videos. Videos do extremely well when you share. So those are the videos we share, then you follow. Um, okay, so let me, let me bring something up here. And feel free to forward. If you've watched this video many times already, feel free to fast forward, stop. Um, do what you need to do with the video. I'll do this on your time. I'm going to share the document page that we use. Okay, so this is this is one of those documents. And this document is pretty long. I don't like to share uh, this because a lot of the stuff here is dated. I mean, it's all contact information. This is all the information you need for phone numbers and, and pre-written emails. And, uh, oh, and here, here are the links to some of the videos we've posted in the past. So um, when you find a funny video, you would post a link here. Then from each profile, you have access to this page uh, and you can copy the link, or better yet, create um, a Dragon Naturally Speaking command. So when you say uh, marketing video, or uh, one piece at a time, or whatever the command is, you basically say two words, and it prints out a long document along with the link to the video that you want to share. Okay, So it really makes it makes you more efficient. Uh, oh, Simon, uh, Simon Senek, Gary Vanderchuk is another link here. Uh, those are all um, motivational type speakers, but not really, but these are successful business owners that do a lot of speaking about successful businesses. Okay. Uh, here's a link about uh, finding a job. Here's a link uh, to a video from, uh, by Will Smith. Uh, here's a video f about company culture. So when someone says, you know, they can't find quality people, chances are they have poor company culture, and you might want them to send this, uh, this video. Uh, we have a lot of clients in the cleaning industry. So here's a video. Oh, uh, no, cold calling. The cold calling doesn't work. I thought it was cold uh, the clients in the cleaning industry disinfect offices so people don't catch cold by touching, you know, somebody's desk or a doorknob or something. Uh, so there's a video for that as well. Um, so, I mean, once you actually start working, click on these links, watch the videos. Uh, a lot of the work you're doing is educating yourself so you can educate other people. Um, so let's, um, was there anything else I want to talk about? So there are mainly um, three or four different categories that we have clients in. Of course, we have a lot of general contractors. Uh, general contractors, painters, flooring companies. Um, so we deal with a lot of renovation companies. Then we deal with a lot of interior designers, okay? which are, again, in the renovation industry, but more in the design part, but they, they're kind of related. We also deal with a lot of real estate agents, mortgage brokers. Um, we have a mortgage broker as a client who does high-risk financing. So if you can't find a mortgage anywhere else, um, he can find you a mortgage uh, because he, can, he has private investors. He can create very uh, attractive terms. Um, so... Uh, we have um, we deal with manufacturing as well, even though we don't have anyone in manufacturing right now. Um, the other category um, is property managers. 
Now, property managers are kind of unique because property managers, in most cases, are not um, self-employed or they do not run their own companies. Uh, a lot of property managers are employees. So it puts them in a special category and it makes it kind of more difficult for us to reach them. So we always help people before we ask for help. So how do we help property managers? Um, and the reason why we need property managers is because we have clients in the cleaning industry. We have clients in the renovation industry that renovate condominium towers across Canada. Um, so we need to have the connections with property managers, but not just the connections, we need to have a relationship based on trust. Uh, and that's crucial. For them to give our clients a try, they need to trust us. And in turn, if they trust us, in turn, they're going to trust our clients, who are the contractors, uh, to give them a chance, right? So um, part of the group we created more than 20 years ago is a group of 22 companies uh, that band together to share the costs uh, to update buildings, to update a 40-year-old building, uh, redesign it, redesign the lobby, redesign the hallways, redesign uh, the pool area, redesign everything to make the buildings look brand new. Okay, so, uh, and by banding those companies together, uh, they're sharing the costs and um, they're saving quite a bit of money and also making it very difficult for competitors to come in and bid on those projects. Um, so it gives our clients an unfair advantage. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to log in uh, to Team Viewer. Uh, we're going to go in, okay, why has all this changed? And this happens. I want to get into computer 5, 8560, 8560 is computer 5, connect. Okay, so when you land, uh, oftentimes, this is what you see. And sorry about that. Somebody desperately trying to get a hold of me. Uh, so when you land, this is what you see. You'll see a lot of different profiles that were active overnight. Um, and when you see a clock that's, that's more than 10 minutes, this one's 18 hours. So it's safe to minimize that. Um, so we're going to minimize all these because when you have stuff working in the background, um, it slows down the computer. And obviously slows down the internet connection. So we're going to pick one, the first one. So these here on the left are basically copies of these. Okay. Uh, a lot of times when when a computer doesn't update, these disappear down here, and then you start up here. So you want to make sure that you keep track of where you ended yesterday. So you're not repeating your efforts. And you don't want to be on the same profile for more than 30 minutes or really 60 minutes. Um, so if none of these were open down here, then you open this Chrome instance. This is called a Chrome instance and it automatically logs you in. Oh, it should log me in. Um, see down here it has a duplicate tab. You don't want duplicate tabs. So open this one and it logs you into um, a profile. The first thing you do before you read the profile is you accept all connections because obviously if we're working with a new client we need to have connections so you accept all connections um, then you read the profile 
Okay, so this is Clifford. Uh, he's in the landscaping industry. He's in Newfoundland, Canada. Look up Newfoundland, Canada, so you understand where they are and what's around them. Um, once once you do that, once you'll you'll remember that. So go to messages. Okay, it's clicked on unread messages already, and you start responding. So your goal is to get uh, reactions. Your goal your goal is to get engagement. Um, your goal is to get people to respond and and reach their emotional level. So you need to ask yourself, what is their their pain? Um, and you don't have to respond to every email. Okay, so obviously this person is trying to sell you something. Um, so, and keep in mind you're responding on behalf of uh, Clifford or Cliff. Um, and you want to speak in the same manner as you speak to your best friend. Uh, hey, dude. Hey, buddy. Um, you know, uh, talk about the weather. People love talking about the weather. Um, the weather is non-threatening. Um, so get engagement. Get them to talking. Get them talking about their kids. Getting talking about their dog, get them talking about whatever, okay? So one of the first things you need to do is obviously read back and see if there's a, a summary where somebody already read this and created a summary. There's no summary here. So So um, you create a summary. So one of the first thing you want to do is find out who Cliff is talking to. So you right click on the profile and open another profile here and you can read. Okay, he's looking for new opportunities. He's in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, does he own a business? He's a general manager. Uh, is an owner operator of three wide enterprises. Condominium disaster restoration. Okay, so he's in the restoration industry. Okay, so when you go back, um, this is going to be difficult because I'm going to turn on my microphone for Dragon Naturally Speaking. Good morning, Harlan. Comma. Oh, somebody left. Press Enter. If you change this, please change it back because it's going to screw somebody up. I understand you're in the disaster restoration industry. Comma, that is a very tough industry. As I understand it, it's either feast or famine period. Either you get a ton of business or you have nothing at all. Period. How did you decide or why did you decide to get into that industry? Pressure mark. Did you do any research before getting into it? Pressure mark. You also mentioned that you're looking for more opportunities or better opportunities. Is that because of the feast and famine in your business? Question mark. How 
how many employees do you have? Pressure mark. So obviously, I wouldn't have written all that without reading um, the conversation that they've had. So it's difficult for me to be talking to you and, and reading, but I will try and share a link of, of successful uh, conversations like this. Then you can see the questions were asked, what they're likely to respond, and the questions you ask a second time, and so on. So the back and forth motion, again, we already know that to get a response, you talk about the weather, uh, or you talk about, um, uh, you know, how's the government treating you? Uh, are you able to find quality employees? People love complaining about the fact that they can't find good tradespeople. Okay, um, so allow them to talk, allow them to vent, allow them to get their frustrations out. Then say, hey maybe there's a better way. Um, I saw a video last week that might be able to help you with that. If I go through the trouble of finding it, would you look at it? Right, so you're trying to get their permission to send them a video. Um, the problem with that is some, some of these people are not here for a month, so you might wanna send it to them anyways. Um, also, there are live conversations. If he's potentially to, to respond, uh, he hasn't responded. And you can see the, whoops, the black dot here is him saying he's in Victoria. So this is when he last, last read the message. So he hasn't read my message yet. So you might say, you must love living in Victoria, BC. It's a beautiful city. Love visiting. Victoria. Okay, I've turned the microphone off because obviously, oh, I thought I turned the microphone off. Oh, that's, see, there's a difference between computer five and my computer. My computer is way down here. So, so, I mean, I can show you examples of how to respond to emails but you can easily look at that by reading previous conversations. So that's not as important right now. What I wanna talk about is efficiency tools. Um, Okay, so what's going to open up is uh, is what we call uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking custom commands. So if you look at all these commands that I've created over time, um, uh, fifty percent business article, Ariane's email, Brittany's info, Derek's info, Don contact info, Don is a a, a, a real estate investor. He does rent to own. When somebody can't afford a house, he rents to them a house at a slightly higher rent and, and the rent is going towards buying the house. Uh, there's my contact info, prof, uh, LinkedIn profile email. So all I have to do is say this command, Susan, Susan info, and it prints out Susan's, all, all of Susan's contact information, including a link to her calendar, okay? 
Um, whenever I'm meeting a client in Ottawa, there's even a Tim Hortons address in Ottawa. Tony's contact info, um, and so on. There's, um, I don't know, there's maybe 30, 40, uh, or 50 different uh, commands here. So every situation that I run into, chances are I've run into it before. Now I'm saving the time because I wrote that email. I took 10 minutes, half an hour to write that email. Uh, use Grammarly, natural, uh, Grammarly uh, to check spelling and grammar. Um, made made the, uh, the email as perfect as possible. Now I saved it as a command so I can keep using that work. So the half hour that I spent writing that email, now I'm using it over and over and over again because you're going to run into similar situations or situations where you can use that same email. And this is why there's 50 or 60 different commands here. So when, when I'm training you and I'm giving you an email and you think it's good, then save it as a command on your command browser. Some people don't like to talk. So this is a great way to say Leo's info or, or uh, consulting info or whatever the command is. For every situation, write an email. Then that way, instead of writing 40 words per minute, now you're writing between 600 and 800 words per minute. This is how you're going to be able to, to write 60 emails per hour is by using efficient tools like this. Okay, um, and this type of training, w one of the reasons why uh, we're interviewing for virtual assistants today is because we keep graduating uh, employees. A lot of our employees have gone on to start marketing companies, have gone on to start online store companies, have gone on to start consulting companies. We have um, a virtual assistant that was doing the job that you're going to be trained to do. And now she does image, image consulting, brand consulting, and, and stuff like that. So we encourage our employees to keep growing. Um, growing as a, not only as a human being, but also as a potential business owner. Uh, chances are you're watching this from the Philippines. We have a client that exports cars. When we met him, he was exporting cars to um, Africa. And we um, and when I was having a coffee with him, I said, well, you're shipping a lot of air, right? Uh, inside the car uh, where people sit and the trunk is empty, right? So I said, why don't we fill that with designer clothing then we'll find retail stores in Africa that need this stuff. Um, then that way the car is going full and you're not shipping air. Shipping air is very expensive. Now we're, we're talking to the same uh, person. We're saying, hey, there's a great need for computers in the Philippines. There's great need for, for designer clothing in the Philippines. Uh, and obviously, people in the Philippines need quality used cars. So take your success from Africa and, and deliver it to the, to the Philippines. So your job is to create opportunities like that, right? It's seeing, hey, um, Indonesia, I don't know, I'm picking a country out of the air. What's needed in, Indo in Indonesia? Um, can we use the Canadian real estate investors to buy property in Indonesia or South Africa or whatever it is? So you create opportunities for Canadian investors to invest in other countries uh, and truly help other countries. Because if you, can, if you can bring in investors to the Philippines, I'm sure you know tons of people who would like to start a business. Um, we have a lot of suppliers uh, in China. Um, we can help these people start businesses. So your job is to truly, truly help people. Okay. Um, I know I'm all over the place with this video, but I wanted to let you know that you have opportunities not only to start a business, but also to help your neighbors uh, in the Philippines to start businesses as well. Um, 
you know, to import computers, uh, Lenovo computers, off-lease computers, import clothing, whatever it is. There's a lot of opportunities for creating a business. Uh, one of my favorite saying is, is if you have a job, you're making someone else rich. If you start your business, you're making yourself rich. You're giving yourself better quality of life. Okay. I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that helps you understand what your job is going to be or what your job should be. Your job really should be um, what you want it to be, what you want to design your job to be. If you're good at uh, Photoshop, well, we need to edit videos. We need to do a lot of things for clients. We need, you know, um, email marketing. We need, uh, um, uh, we need to create websites. We need to create um, Facebook pages um, for these clients. We need to create Instagram uh, followers. We need, we need a million things for our clients. So you tell me what would make you happy in your job and we'll help, we'll try to integrate that, not 100%, but maybe 20%, 50%, 10% into that job. Your job can't be mundane. If people can't read through your email that you're having a great time, then I haven't done my job and I haven't trained you well, which means you're not doing your job. When you write an email, it has to be glowing. It has to show that you're having a fantastic time. You're having a tremendous time. You're having a great life. How else are you going to inspire other people? Okay, this is why we share a lot of videos. If you're good at producing videos, we'll have you producing videos. If you're not good at talking, then you'll type. Um, whatever your skills are, or whatever you want your skills to be, uh, if you want to be a business coach, if you want to help moms in, in the Philippines start a business, if you want to help start a babysitting club, whatever it is, tell me your ideas. We'll figure out how to help other people with, with those ideas. Okay. Uh, send me your questions and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye. Have fun today.